Well, uh, good afternoon. I want to thank you all for coming. And today I'm delighted to be able to announce that the American Rescue Plan has provided another $2.5 million in emergency housing relief and vouchers to help more than 150 Rhode Island families avoid homelessness. And this funding comes on top of the more than $425 million in federal housing resources that I've been able to obtain working with my colleagues since last December in response to COVID-19. If we've learned anything from COVID-19, we know that housing is even more important than we realized at the beginning of this pandemic in 2020. Indeed, especially for those families that have yet to be vaccinated, housing may be the single most effective form of personal protective equipment. In addition to helping more Rhode Island families, this additional dose of federal funding will also help mom and pop landlords who have been struggling to receive the rent. So this is a combination of not only helping those who need housing, it's helping a lot of small businessmen and women in Rhode Island hang on to their property and continue to be able to offer uh, affordable rents. And this is just one more example how the federal government is providing Rhode Island families and small businesses with the critical resources they need to weather this pandemic, and not just weather it, but to be in a position to start growing again and moving out and being productive. I can't think of a situation had we not offered the support. Literally thousands of people without homes, living in cars, landlords bankrupt, their loans being called by the banks. But now we hope we're in a position to pick up the pace and really start moving forward. Now, one of the key factors is vaccination. We are here talking about housing, but we cannot neglect to remind everyone to get vaccinated. That's going to be the aspect of this crisis that we can go ahead and defeat it if we're vaccinated. Now, when we turn back and look at affordable housing, we need to do much, much more. Uh, it's been estimated that we need more than 20,000 rental homes that are affordable and available for extremely low income renters. Now that's 20,000, that's a big number. We're working on an infrastructure package with the president now that we hope will generate significant resources for affordable housing. Uh, but we have to be realistic and look at this as a major challenge. And that's why I'm proud of what the state is doing, Speaker Sakauchi and others to make affordable housing one of the number one issues in this state. And I'll keep pushing for uh, additional resources, additional housing. It's the key to practically everything. It's difficult for children to go to school when they have to move three times during the school year. It's hard to get a, a job when you don't have a permanent address. It's a combination of many things. And housing is fundamental to giving people a chance. 